Howdy everybody, Granny Annie here from Granny Annie's Farm, and I want to wish everybody a Merry Blessed Christmas. Um, as I have been going through the house and packing it up and salvaging whatever I can from the flood damages in there, I was so relieved to find the Christmas book that my mom read my little brother and I when we were Christmas. Um, it looks like it's pretty intact, well, compared to the the wear and tear my little brother and I did to it when we were little kids. She read it to us every Christmas Eve and many other times when we said, read it again, read it again. And then I did the same with my kids and one of them has the book now, I think. But the Christmas book that I gave read to them, but I wanted to read the one from the one that my kids, I mean, the, my mom read to us when I was little. It's Written by Clement C. Moore. Twas the night before Christmas. And if you will be sure and read the dedication down in the description, I would appreciate that because there are quite a few people I would like to dedicate this reading to. So, here we go. You're never too old for the story. Oh my goodness. I think I need to put it back together. Twas the night before Christmas went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. I gotta do this gently. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Okay, we're going to put this part down. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. I just love the artist work in these old books. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly, 
that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic one. Thanks for watching.